The state police recruit seriously hurt. Yeah, that recruit was rushed to the hospital. The family telling us he sustained brain damage during a fight, but they're not sure if it was part of a training exercise. This all unfolded at the state police academy in New Braintree. And as we await updates on that recruit's condition, NBC 10's John Maroney joins us live from state police headquarters in Framingham with what we know so far. John? Colton, there are a few details from state police right now, but the trainee's family tells us he was seriously hurt only a couple of weeks before he was expected to graduate. The NBC 10 investigators were given a first-hand look last fall at the rigors of training inside the state police academy. We're now told the trainee in the most recent class became unresponsive during a drill on Thursday. There's goals and objectives because it's training. And if you stick to goals and objectives, it should be safe. State police aren't revealing much about what happened, except to say the male recruit became unresponsive during a defensive tactics training exercise. Security analyst Todd McGee is a former state trooper who helped to reinstitute the exercise at the academy, which consisted of two rounds of boxing. Trained fighters were not allowed to take part. When I, when I was at the state police academy, we lobbied to bring the program back and again, Without the understanding that it was going to be a cowboy event, it, they had to have protocols and it had to have conditions placed within it for safety reasons. There's a medical team on site at the facility, New Braintree, that includes staff from UMass Medical. He was taken to the hospital, and his family tells us the 25-year-old trainee was two weeks from finishing his training. They say he suffered serious brain injury from blows to his head and has a fractured skull. I think the next thing to do is, is to wait and see what comes back from the investigation, understand what, what safety protocols were put in place, where they followed, I think that's going to be the, where the next series of questions come from. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we will hear directly from the trainee's family. State police say they will provide more information when it becomes available. We're live in Framingham. John Maroney, NBC10 Boston.